what was wrong with me why was i so stupid these are the things which keep haunting our minds again and again the same thoughts keep coming back this is the 61st episode of dream 100 show winning team secrets podcast welcome to dream 100 show listener i am your host savita husamane my mission is to help small and medium business owners grow their business by designing and developing a culture of profit in their business join us as we bring you everything that goes on in the minds of successful business owners during decision making process and gain insights to make smarter decisions in this episode we will be exploring about how to focus our minds at work when the mind is disturbed now let's look at few situations where we feel that the mind is disturbed sometimes in business we would have thought that this particular investment will yield certain kind of results to us but when the results are not in our favor that is when we start getting upset from within rather than what the outcome is we are more upset with our own selves i should have checked this i should have done that i should have been little more cautious what was wrong with me why was i so stupid these are the things which keep haunting our minds again and again the same thoughts keep coming back and the same situations keep processing in our minds when a relationship is broken then we keep thinking about it again and again i thought he will stand by me i thought he will not ditch me i thought he is not a cheat i thought this i thought that or i should have listened to such and such a person before i put so much of trust into that relationship when a situation is not in our favor we keep going back and keep replaying the same thoughts again and again and we are not able to focus on the present thing that we are supposed to do our minds are in a disturbed state of mind so now when we are in such a situation what is it that we need to do to come out of that disturbance because it is not easy to forgive our selves we are able to forgive others but we keep blaming ourselves within and the blame game goes on and on and on so now let me relate it with a story which is very close to my heart this is the story when buddha is going from one village to another and on the way he feels thirsty so he looks at ananda who is his disciple and says ananda can you please get me some water we just passed through a small stream of water 2 or 3 miles back but i am very thirsty so could you please go and get me some water ananda said this is my joy to serve you in any way so you rest under this tree and i will go and get it he went back to the stream he knew exactly where the stream was and they had just passed that stream but when he reached the stream he saw that two bullock carts had just passed through the stream and the whole stream was muddy and thereby he didn't have the heart to take that muddy water to his master as he saw the old leaves rotten leaves they were floating on the top and the whole water was very muddy which was not suitable to drink so he comes back and he says to buddha i could not get water for you but you need not be worried i know that there is a big river which is 4 miles ahead so i will go over there and i will get that water for you but buddha looks at him and he says no 
I want you to go back to the same stream and get water from there itself. But Ananda insists that the water is dirty, muddy, and rotten leaves are floating all over it. Who can I bring it, he says. Buddha just says, you go and bring it. When the master says so, Ananda went back reluctantly. But by the time he reached the stream, he saw that the leaves had moved and the water was continuously flowing and it had taken all the old and the rotten leaves away. The dust and the mud had settled down at the bottom and there was just clear water which Ananda was able to get it. And along with the water, Ananda gets a message to himself. So he thinks to himself, this is what Buddha meant by saying, go back. If he had waited near the stream for some more time, probably the water would have been crystal clear. But he did not wait. He had come back. So when he goes back to Buddha, Buddha asks him, Ananda, did you get the message? Ananda says, yes, I got the message. In fact, I didn't tell you when I went the first time and I saw that two bullock carts had just passed ahead in front of me and it had disturbed the whole stream. I wanted the stream to settle down. I jumped into the water and I tried to settle down the mud and the leaves. And then I saw after some time, it was impossible to settle the mud and the leaves. I did not tell you this when I came back the first time. I was so foolish. That is not the way to settle the stream back into its natural way. I should have simply waited by the side and I should have watched, he says. Things happen on their own. So just sitting and watching the stream, I got that message that this stream is just like the stream of my mind. When we have rotten thoughts, past, dead, and rotten thoughts, which are continuously uh, roaming in our minds, and we are trying to settle it down, it does not settle down. Jumping into it makes it all the more worse. And that is when we start becoming pessimistic and we say that this does not work and I am disturbed. And we think that we will not be able to get any solution. But today, when I saw that, when I distanced myself from the stream, just like distancing myself from the stream of my own mind, things will start getting settled down. And then Buddha says, I'm not thirsty, Ananda. You were sent to bring this water for me so that you can understand this message. Because I had seen the bullock carts on the top of the hill and I knew that by the time you will go back, they would have crossed the stream. So just sit by the stream of your mind and watch it. Don't do anything. Nothing is expected from you. When you are quiet, calm, as if it is none of your business, and you watch your disturbed mind as though it is happening somewhere else, then you are not in the mind. You are just a watcher. And after that, all the disturbances in your mind will start settling down. So even the same thing applies to our own lives after so many years. When we feel that our mind is disturbed, there is no need for us to jump into it and keep blaming and keep going back to the same things again and again. We become a part of the process. But instead, if we come out and we accept that, yes, this is the outcome of the situation which has happened. I should not have done it. 
it is okay so give yourself that time and space and you will start seeing that you will be able to forgive yourself first and then you will be able to forgive the other person or the situation sometimes the situation is not in our control so when you bring in that kind of uh, awareness into your mind then you will be able to calm down the mind and uh, when you are in the disturbed state of mind don't jump into the water just like ananda and don't jump to conclusions don't jump to doing lot of things because in that disturbed state of mind you will end up messing up things rather than setting it right right <laughs> so don't try to overdo things and one another thing which works very well is that when we feel that somebody has hurt us somebody has ditched us somebody has cheated us or sometimes it will be somebody who is very close to our heart like our family members then instead of blaming that person start being grateful start thinking about the situations where that person has been so kind to us and because of that bond we were able to do so many things earlier now things are not in our favor but still start being grateful to the situation because then it will change your perspective and in that changed perspective you will be able to see things more clearly as the rotten thoughts in your mind starts disintegrating implement these simple tips and let me know if it works for you so let's summarize when our minds are disturbed what is it that we need to do watch our minds give ourselves the time and space and let us not jump into the situation but instead let's take some time and set limits that at least this much time i will not be doing anything start being grateful to the situation or person and you will see that you will start feeling much better thank you for being such a wonderful listener we a dream hunted show help business owners in creating an audio profile for their business and reach out to new audiences locally and globally call to action is click on the link in the show notes and join dream 100 show podcast group to share your thoughts and feedback and interact with other listeners